welcome back to the channel. Today I'm headed over to go check out and revisit the old Mustang that was at the junkyard. So this Mustang, if you guys don't remember, it was one of the owners that passed away. It sat for a while and then I kind of cleaned it up and then it sold to a guy. So this guy pretty much fixed everything. It looks really good in pictures. He fixed everything that was wrong with it and uh, we're just gonna go check it out and it looks really good. So um, I can't wait to see it and uh, we'll just kind of go from there. 1967 GT Mustang Fastback. This car is an original V8 and an original manual car. Now I'm gonna go into a little bit of background on the GT Mustang. The story behind this car, the guy that used to run our Ford yard actually was doing a full restoration on it. So the unfortunate thing is before he could finish it, which it's very, very close and drive it, he passed away. So the, the restore has zero miles on it. The car originally has under 30,000 miles and it's just very, very, very disappointing that he put all this time and effort in restoring this car and he never was able to drive it. So the next thing is he bought this car when he was in high school from a guy that was drag racing it up north. I can't remember where he was from, if he was from Oregon or Minnesota. I can't really remember, but the guy was drag racing it. I think it was for like three to five years. He used it as a drag race car. Then the guy that used to run our Ford yard actually converted it back to a street car and he's owned it ever since high school. He moved to Colorado to, to go to college and he brought the car with him.
All right, so I just got over the shop and here is the Mustang. And it looks a lot different than it did before because he added racing stripes to it and pretty much redid the whole paint job. As you guys remember, there was a bunch of, um, there's a bunch of body filler, I think right here. And he had him take it all out and then had the whole car. He had it all repainted, right? Yes. Yeah, the whole thing repainted. I guess he had to take it to a few different places because there's a bunch of issues, just random issues. That's what you always expect when you, have body work done. I mean, I've always had issues, but um, yeah, the racing stripes really bring it out because before it was just the maroon color and it was just kind of, just kind of plain. But now the racing stripes make it look like a whole different car, especially now that it's nice and clean. I mean, the interior on this thing is, uh, is really clean. As you guys remember, this thing had low miles. Another thing that he did was he, there was that back seat. I really didn't like that either. He got a piece that pretty much deleted that back seat fold as down. well. It's yeah. A fold down. yeah, fold down, I guess. And then uh, up here, pretty much not much has changed, but he did add that bar that was missing. And uh, was, these lights weren't in the grill, right? This grill's different. That's a new grill. Yeah. This is Paul right here. He's the new owner of the car. It used to be Glenn's car. Oh, we kind of had a, had a hankering to own a fast back and uh, just didn't realize I'd find one with low miles and with all performance. So it's been quite a thrill working on it. Uh, it's just a good thing. Just I always wanted that Mustang, I had a place for it and, and it does run. We need to probably change the gears in the rear end. It's just too wound up at, at 4550 and it just wants to jump. So we'll, we'll get the right gears back there so I can drive it on the highway and enjoy it a little bit. It's a lot of attention and it's all good stuff. It's really. Really enjoy it. Yeah, I bet. I bet it's it's hard. You know, people don't really see nice Mustangs, especially the older ones anymore. I mean, it's very far and few between. So, yeah, you gotta tell me that very little body work on it. I'm sure, Glenn bought this from the original owner, so you'd be the third owner of this car. Yeah. So that's that's a plus too, because most cars that you get have had a bunch of owners, especially this old. bunch of other cars you want to just kind of take me around and yeah. you have a little collection going on it's got a little uh, hangout man cave here you might say don't even like to go home sometimes i think i feel a lot better here this is a 68 all uh, just got the stock 289 automatic uh, had it for a lot of years let's see if i got driver back in 09 and totaled the car on both ends and had it redone, I uh, decided to go with like the California Special, Shelby tail lights and spoilers and such, the hood, carbon glass hood, the bullet grill. And it, it's just an eye catcher, pretty car. The color just really stands out. And it still runs, right, it's got fairly decent miles, I think around 80,000. Here is probably, probably the favorite one, that probably something that I would probably never sell. 57 Skyliner, and those are the, the original colors. It's a, 312 automatic, uh, still runs super good. Got glass packs on it, sounds just like the 50s. And I had to get me a little pickup too, a little hot rod. The 65, I like the year, because that's the year I graduated from high school. It's done up a little bit. Got a decent paint job, it's been around a while. 460. Automatic C6. Need some interior work done to it. Finish the box. Move the gas tank in the back. Just got back home. It is really nice to see that Glenn's Mustang has been given new life. 
he put a lot of time and effort and was never able to enjoy the car. I knew Glenn very well, or pretty well, I guess. I used to work at the junkyard all through college, as well as afterwards until I got a job as an engineer for Cummins. When I came back, I knew him until he passed away. It was an unfortunate thing. I mean, it happens, but at least the car went to somebody that is really gonna enjoy it and really gonna take care of it. And it's not just gonna be, you know, flipped a million times. The guy will probably keep it until, you know, he passes, passes it on to his kids because he had a few cars that he already gave to his kids, which is very, very nice. I mean, it is really nice to just see somebody that really enjoys cars have something like that. And uh, it, he put a lot of time and effort into it as well as uh, you know, getting the paint back to where it needs to be, fixing the hood, fixing the fender and that headlight bucket, and uh, you know, getting the interior where it needs to be. The car looks really, really good. So I just wanted to do the video because he actually um, knows my old boss at the junkyard, Don, and he was like, hey, I saw the first video. Can you do a follow-up video? And I was like, yeah, I mean, it looks really good in pictures. Let's do it. So I'm really happy to, that I was able to go see the car. He was able to let me, or he let me see the rest of his collection um, and just kind of go from there. I mean, it's just really cool to see cars. I'm not too big of a Ford guy, but I do enjoy cars and I do enjoy things that are put together very well. So I'm gonna end the video here. If you like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, throw a thumbs up, throw a comment below. As always, see you guys next time.